so a little context this is introducing the rapper rico nasty this is a drag queen shea coulee okay so this is a man dressed as a woman voguing down the aisle in rihanna's lingerie oh those titties okay now we have another drag queen i don't know this drag queen's name modeling the lingerie we have many women on all sides modeling the lingerie they're walking oh. to the center they're strutting hadith is playing in the background and boom there's rico nasty okay okay girl okay wait rico nasty is who again is she's, that the she's a rapper wait is she the person no that was another person that made that song right the hadith a different person made the hadith but yeah. this segment this is, a rap. is, is yeah, okay. to introduce rico nasty to the stage you know i know drag queens and trans people are completely two different things but i wish the hadith that they use was the anti-trans hadith that would have been dope that would be like a big f you know in a world that where things are actually allowed mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be like a some a big f you to hadith that would have been so awesome if they're like if people were free to just be like well here's what we think about your islamic hadith like and then you had like trans people dancing with the hadith like a I don't know, like an electronic version of the anti-trans headies playing in the background. Yeah, I think. Wait, pause. Oh Somebody should do that. I um, I think, um, that would actually bring out the full force of the support of the LGBTQ community too. Oof, somebody because, should do that. Um, when there was there's many instances where people have asked questions even asking a question about islam on a drag show caused backlash against jeff goldblum and um because there was a drag queen wearing hijab and he asked isn't there something about that religion that is misogynistic and doesn't like gay people he asked that question on the show and he got a massive backlash for it from the gay community yeah yeah i'm looking up for i'm looking for and, um I think you, if you, if you challenge it, so there, there's a yeah, very woke portion of the LGBTQ community. Um, I'm not saying it's majority. I don't know what, how much of it is. Um, I'm part of the LGBTQ community and I definitely was that way for a long time. Um, I didn't think you could even touch Islam. Um, you could go after Christian homophobia all day long, but that no, 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 no. <clears throat> but if you would actually challenged it like made the hadith exactly like juxtaposed it challenged it inverted it um showing this is what you're trying to put us down with this is what you use to justify our death our murder our persecution and here we are strutting flaunting celebrating ourselves i think that would have brought out the full support of the lgbtq community um with this I'm, I haven't seen a lot of responses from the LGBTQ community about this yet, but there will be a portion who will join in condemning Rihanna for this. I mean, but there could be a portion of any community that joins in that. Um, so, um, like I said, there are so many different levels of haram going on. So there's music, music of the prophet's words, lingerie, they're not hiding their aura. <laughs> um, and the fact that it's men dressed as women in lingerie, strutting, dancing, celebrating themselves. So there's like so many different levels of what is forbidden going on in this segment, which is exactly why I love it. Um, and that I retweeted the video and I said, like, Rihanna's hopping on the blasphemy train. Like, I love it. 